Welcome back, everyone. Uh, so last time we continued our discussion about Canvas, where we began to do some animation, right? Um, so today I'd like to show you guys just a few more things that I think are pretty cool, some tricks that you can use uh, in your game development, and then we'll move forward from there. So to review, let's go ahead and start coding. So the first thing we need is a Canvas element, so let's create one. Okay, so now from my code, I want access to my canvas. How can I access the canvas element from my code? Right, I could give it an ID, for example, ID, you know, my canvas. And then from here, I could do document, which is a global object, dot get element by ID, and then pass in the ID, my canvas. Let me make sure that it worked. So const canvas, did it work? Alert canvas, yes, there it is, perfect. So now I have access to canvas. What is canvas? True, but exactly here, this is a variable, right? It has something inside. What is it? It's an object, good. And that object contains things like attributes, and functions, keys, if you will. So I can do canvas dot, what's the key that contains the function that allows me to gain access to the context? Get context, makes sense. It allows me to get the context. It takes a parameter though. What is the parameter? What is 2D? It's a string, right, 2D. Um, good. And this then returns const context. Let me alert that. Good, we have a 2D context, very good. And now this context is itself an object that contains inside of it a bunch of functions, right? And these functions allow me to draw things on the screen. So for example, if I did context.fill rect, and I did, you know, 10, 10, 100 by 100, what will I see right now? What do you think? There it is. I see a square and it happens to be black. Why do you think it's black? Right. So how can I change it so it's not black? Now it's red. Simple, yes? Okay. So now let's create some data that we can draw on the screen. There we go. You guys can still read, right? Okay. So uh, let's create some data. Um, so game data. And what should our game data have? Let's draw some points. Um, you know what? Why don't we do this? So far we've been drawing boxes. Why don't I draw circles? How do I draw a circle? Well, canvas, draw, circle. And the first thing I get when it loads today is this example here. So there's this thing called begin path, arc, fill style, blah, blah, blah. So what I'm going to do is copy all of this, go back here, and let's just paste it for now. Okay. Okay, so now center X, I'm guessing the, is the location where the, the, the circle will be drawn, right? So let's draw it at 100, 100, and the radius should be, let's say 50 or 40, whatever. There it is. Okay, cool. Now, I don't want to have to do all of, now, as you can see, this is a lot of code, right? So first of all, there's information here about the line width and color. So let's get rid of that for now. Okay, so this is how you draw a circle. I'm not gonna explain to you the specifics of this because you can read about it yourself. But the one point you can see is that it takes about four lines of code to draw a circle. Right? So every time I want to draw a circle, I have to write four lines of code. That's not great. What's a, something I can do to help me draw circles? Yeah, I can take all this, create a function, const draw 
circle. Stick it in there. And then have this, instead of the locations being hard-coded, have this be the x, have this be the y, and have this be the radius, x, y, r. Now I can call draw, blah. I can call draw circle with any location I want, 100, 100, 40. I can draw another one just by doing this. Let's have it be at 50 or 40, 40, 40, and have it be 30. Right? So as you can see, I've encapsulated or I've packaged up, I've closed up all of this code, all of this complexity into a very easy to use function that I can use anywhere I want. And by the way, if I wanted to draw red circles, what would I do? And if I wanted the stroke to be some color, context up. And if I wanted to stroke the line width to be bigger, what would I do then? Line width dot line. Mm. There you go. Before calling the next one, yes, make sense. You understand why, right? When you say fill style, you're saying use this color. And then you're saying draw circle, so it draws using that color. No problem. Okay, so this is easy stuff, right? This is, there's nothing special here. Now let's draw, um, let's have their, let's create a point, const point. And let's have the x be, I don't know, 10, y be 10, width be 100, and height. Actually, let's give it a radius of, say, I don't know, 10. Let's have it start with 20 and 20. Okay, I want to draw this point. So let me cre create a function called const draw. It will draw that point. How do I draw that point? Well, exactly. Draw circle, point dot x, point dot y, and point dot r. Cool. Now I want to create an animation loop. Loop. I'll call loop. And then loop will call itself after calling request animation shion frame. Did I spell that right? Request animation frame. And from here we'll call draw. So what happens? Loop calls, we call loop, it calls draw. It calls this function, which later calls loop again, which calls draw, which calls this function, which later calls loop again, which calls draw, etc., etc. This is fine, no questions here? Okay, let's keep going. So this is what we get. We just get a circle. Not very exciting. Now we should update the location of the circle so it moves. So we create an update function, const update, which we call from here which will change the location of point dot x by and we get that. Okay, that's right. What we're not doing is deleting or clearing the board from the previous animation, right? So let's do that. How can I clear the previous area? Yeah, so context dot clear rect. Let's clear the entire board. So zero, zero, let's start with canvas dot height. Good, better. Now watch this. This is one of the things I want to show you. Instead of clear rect, let's do fill rect. Okay, and let's fill rect with, let's say white. So um, context dot fill style. Okay, cool. 
Um, let's change the fill style here so the circle has a different color. Okay. So does this make sense? Now watch this. Instead of doing white, why don't we do RGBA? Watch what I mean by this. RGBA. So RGBA takes RGB, red, green, blue values. Each of those values are between 0 and 255 respectively. So the bigger the number, the stronger that color is. Okay? So um, let's have this be, well, 1, 1, 1. What do we get then? Wait. All right, we need point 0.5. Here we go. Okay, let's wait, wait, one second. 255, yeah, that's the opacity. There we go. Um, now let's lower the opacity. You guys get what's happening? You have a little trailing halo behind it. Why? Why do you think this is happening? Yeah. So think about it. We're, we're drawing a circle, right? Then we're drawing white, but slightly transparent. So you can still kind of see it. Then we move it and we draw another one, and we move it and we draw another one. So the more we draw, the less you can see the previous, right? But because, so the more layers it has, the less you see it, which is why you keep seeing this more and less. And so it's a cute, cute little way of showing like shadow as you're moving. Yes. Nope. See, we're not clearing rect. We're just filling rect. Look, if I just did fill rect and I just made it white, hang on. Yes, this is, this is the color and this is the opacity. So look, if I change the opacity, instead of 0.1, I made it, you know, 7, the halo is much less. Or the, tr this is more, this is more, this is more. Let me have the stroke style context.stroke style be red. There we go. Uh, cool, right? Mm -hmm. So you can use this in your in your homework if you want to make it even cooler. So just and then maybe instead of drawing boxes, you could draw circles. So you could have a bunch of circles bouncing around. Furthermore, you can have the radius be different for each one. Right? That function that you call to return a bunch of points, don't only make the x and y random, make the size random so that you have different balls of different sizes of different colors. Let me show you the color one. Um, so to pick a random color, so we need some colors. So, so far I've been using names like red or green or blue, right? But what you can, do, and so for now, let's choose one of these colors. Um, and then here you simply, when you fill stroke, you say uh, point dot color. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I chose the first one, right? Uh, sorry, the second one, which is one, which is green. Now, if you want nice colors, one thing you can do is go to um, Adobe Color. Hang on, just write Adobe Color CC. And it takes, pick the first one, this Adobe Cooler. It's basically, when you go there, when you go there, uh -huh, click on Explore when it loads. It will load soon. Explore. Okay. And what you will see is color combinations made by some professional designers. And you find a color combination that you like. Which one do you like? Vitamin. This one? Okay. If you click on Edit Copy, 
Each color has this hex value. It also has an RGB value, by the way. See? What you do is you copy this, um, and then you go back here, and instead of green, let's have it be hash that. And now we get that color. And so you can use these colors to make your thing look much nicer, much more professional. Uh, questions? Easy, right? Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Let's do the homework. Let's do the homework. No, you do the homework. Yes. How can we can we use RGB to get random values in RGB and use colors like? Yes, you can. Absolutely. So just keep in mind that RGB is a string. So what you would do is you would concatenate the result of rand, uh, what is it, 255, like that. And then you would do the same here and the same here. And then yes, in that way you could get random, completely random values, yeah. But if you want predetermined values, then you do it this way. Why am I saying predetermined? You're right, this is more interesting because you get to really just go crazy and pick random colors. The problem is a lot of random colors don't look great. Whereas these ones, you can get professional, like really nice combinations and then have your thing really shine. So play with both. Pick whatever you think looks better. Very good question. Thank you. Um, other questions? No other questions. You guys got this. Very cool. All right. So... Um, A few. Okay, let's do this. Um, what's a fun exercise to do? Okay, imagine I have this. This are uh, points, and in this array, I have um, x y one hundred whatever, or radius. I just deleted the draw circle function, didn't I? Damn it. Okay, wait, one second. Okay. Where's the draw circle? There it is. Okay. I'll keep the loop. I'll keep the draw. Okay. Okay, so when organizing your code, it's a good idea to sort of divide up the parts of your code, right? So in this case, I think it's pretty clear. We have our animation loop, which calls draw to draw things and update to update the data. I think that's fine. What you might want to do at the very beginning though is initialize, that is to say set up your game. So setting up might involve creating your points. So const points, actually I started. Um, we might need another point. So x is, I don't know, 50, y is 50, r is something larger, like 20. Okay. So then what we will do is we want to loop over these points, right? Um, so far I've taught you guys about recursion. Right? How to recurse over these. There's something else I want to show you that is important that you know, but you're not allowed to use it in your homework. <laughs> Remember the for each that I asked you to implement? Mm -hmm. Turns out someone already did that. So what you can do is you can do points dot for each. We can use it in our homework. No. You have to write it yourself. Jivat Martam Chan. Okay, what does this do? What this is saying is points is an array, right? It's a list. For each implies for every element in the array, for every value in that array, call this function. What should we call the values inside of points? Let's call it point. And here we can now draw it on the screen. So context, oh, let's call draw circle, point, point dot x, point dot y, point dot r. There we go. We see the points. 
Here we want to update the points. So instead of drawing the circles, we want to update them. So point dot x is equal to point dot x. We need a delta. Now here's the thing. Should I have one global delta? Well, let me try that. Let me have a delta, const delta or d. Um, ah, thank you, const d. <laughs> um, plus d. Okay, what, what did I forget to do? Zero, zero, uh, canvas.width, canvas.height. Okay, better. Again, remember, you, if you implement the for each, it's almost exact. Here's what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. You're going to call this function for every element in here. For now, because I don't want to give you the answer, I'll just do this. And then here, but you need to do this recursively. Don't do this. Understand? Okay. So now from here, I can go for each. Here I can do for each. Okay. Okay, not bad. Now what we want to do is we have our game data. Instead of just having points, let's have a single object called data, which has points and a delta. What did I just do here? What does this mean? Yeah, this object now has a key called points that refers to this array. I could have also done this. You see how it's the same thing? This is the same thing as this. Good? Okay. So now here, what we want to do is not iterate over points, but data.points. Mm -hmm. And we want to flip data.x delta. Okay, good. Now, if the point gets to the end, I want to bounce it back, right? Um, how, how do I do that? What? Maybe? Because we want the diameter, right? Not the radius. Okay, if that's the case, what do I do? You guys see a problem with that? Watch what happens again. Both balls are going, they hit the wall, both go back. Exactly. This is the problem with having a shared delta. Instead of having one global delta that they're all using, each one needs its own delta. Because in one case, one might be coming back while the other one's going. The delta for this is going to be different from the delta of that. This is why I recommend that each one has its own local x delta and local y delta. And have the same for this. Get rid of this. And now here you add the point dot x delta. And then here, if that's the case, you flip the point dot x delta with point dot x delta. Now each one should have its own. Wait, what? <laughs> that's not good. Incham's got it. 
x delta x delta y delta y delta chat meet up by point oh sorry pt i called it pt so this is pt pt okay better right does this make sense okay now remind me I want to draw that shadow in the background how do I do that again so if I clear it of course okay this is too much so what do I do Okay, not good. So we need a color. Okay, what happens if I do white? Okay, whatever, not bad. That's because the color for the point, fill style. Okay, um, so we don't want to just paint it white. What do we want to do? Okay, so let's have the highest values for red, green, and blue, and point, whatever. Shata, Chishta. There we go. Let's have it be less. I don't like this border around it, so let's do... Um, how do I get rid of that ugly border, the fill? The stroke context dot stroke style. Let's have that be red as well. Okay, that's better, right? Um, we don't have to have the background be white. How do I make it more red? Remember, this is R G B two fifty five to zero. So I make these ones less, right? So let's have this be one hundred and have this one be one hundred. Okay, red doesn't make sense. Red on red. Um, so why don't we have this one be 100 and ha what is this gray? Let's have this one be 200 Interesting Income Yep Let's watch Oh, you're right. It stops here Update with minus. Let's do point R. You understand why? Okay. Um, what else can we do? Anyone have any ideas? Why don't we? You guys want to add gravity to stuff? Yeah, you want to play with gravity? Okay. Okay, so um, how do we do this? Let me see. You know I'm coding everything live, right? I'm, I, I didn't, like, I don't know what I've got to code ahead of time. Um, okay, let's have one point just to make life easier. So let's have const. Let's have it be x. In charge, Anna. Oh, pt? Uh, well, I can have it be points, like that. X, spasi, X, you're right, okay, fine, point. I see what you're saying. So, X and Y be another 200, why not? And have the radius be whatever, 100, no, 50, 40, okay. So, Okay, we're not going to use the for each. In the draw, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. And then we're not going to do it for all since we only have one point. We're just going to draw that one point. And for update, we're just going to draw update the one point. Miro pem. Let's have the x be zero. That was ugly. It doesn't have a delta. It doesn't have a what? 
Oh, I don't have a delta, sorry. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we have one point bouncing around. Okay, so now let's have the ball go up and then come back down, right? So one thing we could do is let's have the points start off. So first, let's not do all this stuff. Okay, let's move it right a little bit and make it smaller. So let's have the radius be 10 and let's move it right, which would be 100. Okay, maybe move it down a bit. Fine. You know what, why don't we have it go all the way to the bottom of the canvas? How do I get it to the bottom of the canvas? Minus. Minus. Nice. Okay, now it's at the bottom. Now I want it to go up, right? So what we do is um, we need the Y delta, which we will keep adding to it. So let's do um, point dot Y equals point dot Y plus uh, point dot Y delta. Oh, sorry, minus. Let's have the Y delta be a negative Y delta. Okay, not bad, so it goes up. But what we want is as it goes up, you know what, let's increase the X as well. So that way it kind of goes this way. So let's do point dot X equals point dot X plus point dot X, uh, X delta. Okay. Okay, but what we want is we want it to go like up and down, right? Okay, so what we need is for the, um, for the Y acceleration to slow down and then continue this way, right? So what we can do actually is something very simple. We can continuously add point dot Y delta. Del we can add point zero, let's see what happens there. Okay, nothing, wait. What, what about now? Okay, what about now? Oh, wait, sorry. Point dot y delta equals. Point y. That's actually. Okay, so I think we're we're adding too much. So let's do. <laughs> angry Birds. You guys know Angry Birds? It's. <laughs> okay, and all you do is a hit test at the end, and you break something. Um, <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> oh, sorry, <laughs> Ruben, focus on the class. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whee! God be like. Whee! God be like. Whee! Um, okay. Any questions? <laughs> Wait, do you guys understand the math behind this? All I'm doing, look, y delta is a negative one, right? I keep adding 0.01 to it, which means it's approaching, it's going higher. And eventually it gets past zero and it goes positive. So you go from going negative back to going positive down. You guys understand this? Remember, okay, if you remember, the Y grows downward, right? So I keep, so my first Y delta is negative one. So when I add, it goes up. Then I add 0 0.01 to negative one. Right? So negative one is now smaller. It's closer to zero. It's more positive than it was before. So it goes a little bit less, and a little bit less, and a little bit, and eventually it gets to zero, and then zero plus 0 0.01, zero plus 0 0.01, or that 0 0.01 plus 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.02 plus 0 0.01, 0 0.03, and you keep going positive, positive. So you go from negative to positive. You guys get that? It, okay, let's do it one more time. Just, whee! Okay. 
<laughs> now you can imagine instead of drawing uh, a circle, we could draw a character. Let's do that. Okay, this is the fun part. What do we want to draw? Flying across the room. Uh, um, okay, what we need is what we need is uh, something transparent background. <laughs> the second one. You guys are horrible. Um, okay. How about? No, not that one. Too basic. This one? This one? <laughs> okay, so wait, so the color doesn't take a radius, it, uh, it takes a, a width of say 100 and a height of say 400, sorry, 40. Okay, now here we're going to, instead of draw a circle, how do I draw an image? Which takes an image, which I'll create. And, I'll, and then it takes point.x, point.y, point.width, and point.height. Okay, now we need to create this dolphin image. Um, Okay, so you notice how the dolphin starts below the line? The reason for that is the height is 40, not 10. Okay, wait, let's do this again. Okay. And the I'll rotate the the picture. I don't know. Let me see. So canvas, 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 rotate image. Rotate image. Here we go. You can use canvas context translate and context rotate to do a rotate of the image. You know, context translate. Of the center of the canvas. Rotate the canvas to the specified degree. Draw the image. Ah, cool. Hey, this is cool. You know what you do? Look, imagine you're drawing on a piece of paper, right? What you can do is take the paper, turn it, draw, and then turn it back. So, right? So look, you're rotating, that's this, you draw, and then you restore, which means you put it back. Yeah? So what that means is, hang on, context.restore. Okay, one second, one second. What we can do is we rotate, and then we put it, we restore. So we do, wait. Context. Eh? I need degrees. Ah, yeah. Um, how many degrees do you want to do it? 40? Whoa! What the crap? That didn't look good. No, that's... Fill style. Wait, let's do... Shata? Okay, Spasek. Uh, uh, I don't know. How far that's not. Yeah, but then I restore it. No, you have to restore Chane, just as awesome. Okay. 
Karar restore skalem gelen mi yapar? Context at restore. Can you try it with a minus two? With a, yeah, sure, I can try that. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> it's like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my answer is I don't know. I have to play with it, and I don't want to do it in front of a hundred people. So just go home and try it. I, I think you understand, right? Okay. Um, very good. O other questions? Can we give Thug Life glasses to this dolphin? Interesting. I, yeah, I get what he's saying. He wants Thug Life glasses on the dolphin. Okay, in that case. After the dolphin finishes jumping, the glasses come down. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So first, let's have him wait. Let's have the X be zero. I stepped the gang this chair. Okay, so first tell me, how do I stop it? I want the dolphin to stop jumping, right? After it jumps, it lands and stop. Don't keep going. If what? If it's y equals to hamas eight. Y is equal to... Or bigger. Okay, or bigger equal, okay. Canvas dot height minus point dot height. Then we stop. In change on us. Same thing with an image. Same thing. Nakara, Daira, U Chapa. Okay, so. Hey guys, one thing that you maybe notice is my formatting. Have you noticed that every time I put code inside of curlies, I push it in? And then inside of that, if I have a function, I push it in? It makes it much easier to read and understand your code. Imagine if, if everything was written like this. Oh, it doesn't even go. Okay. Like, okay. Let me do it randomly. Like here, and then maybe this one's like over here, and then this one's like up here somewhere. Do you understand how it, it's much more difficult to follow the logic? It's messy, exactly. So keep your code clean. Yeah? Um, okay, so once we reach this, we want to stop the animation. Or we want to stop the moving of the dolphin. What can we do? Turn the delta into zero. Yeah, for example, we could turn the delta into zero. But the problem with that, though, is the delta will add 0.01 to zero next time, right? So we need something else. What if we just said point dot done jumping to true? And here we simply check if not point dot done jumping, then jump. Right? At this point, is there a key called done jumping? No. So what happens if you do a not undefined? What do you get? You get true, in which case you go in here. But then, when you do done jumping true and you flip it, you get false, you no longer animate. Weep up. Akita. Let's make him smaller. Let's have the width be a bit smaller. Let's have it be 880 by. 
37 maybe? Yeah, 37. Okay. Okay, we didn't lose the nose, good. Okay, so we have a flying dolphin. And once the dolphin lands, we want the thug life glasses to come down, right? Okay, so first we need glasses. So, uh, thug life. There we go. Um, okay, so you probably want them. I don't know, whatever. Who cares? Okay, let's just do this. That's okay, huh? Oh, right. Let's see if it's transparent. Wait one second. Color transparent. Okay, let's use this one. Chair to make a chair, whatever. Uh, copy image address. Okay, we need that image, right? <clears throat> so let's download it. Okay, what we need, so remember, thug life glasses are also a thing, right, that has to move around. So we should have some data to represent it. So const, const, okay, which has an x coordinate of zero. Ooh, yeah, canvas.width minus. I don't know, 40? Let's, we'll play with this later. And where do we want it to begin? What do we want the Y to be? We want it to be at the very top, right? Like drop out of the sky. So maybe start at zero and then increase it? Yeah. Okay, so you're right. So let's have it be negative 10. Um, yeah, we can we can be negative, so it's outside of the canvas, and then as it increases, it'll like drop from the canvas. Yeah. Okay, so let's give it a width and height. So width of it can't be too much, right? So ten, let's say, and height of where's the person who knows pixels? Someone was like, who? Where's that person? All right, Adam. Adam, masa, la ves esa casa es fácil. So now what we want to do is in the draw undo context dot um, draw image. We want the what do we call them? Thug life. No glasses. Yeah, but the the image. Now we do glasses dot x dot y. Okay, so the glasses are actually drawn, but they're drawn outside of the boundary. So here, let's drop them from the sky. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. In short, what do you Oh, sorry. <laughs> you guys want to see that again? Miro pa miat x x mi kicho es con bereng cha. Gura x x minus. Miro pa miro pa miro pa. Mi kicho za. Bu mi kicho avli line cha yerevi. Let's have it be a little wider. 
We have from Merlo. What? You guys are horrible. Um, why should be? That's ridiculous. Let's have it be minus thirty. Okay. All right, last one, and we'll we'll have to stop the gla the glasses. Okay, Miki Chelesko, right? A little bit. Uh, let's have it be an even thirty-five. Okay, now. The next thing is we want the glasses as they're dropping to stop, right? So right about there. Okay, so as we're looping, if glasses.y are what? Greater than or equal to what? Insure me bun. How much was the dolphin? Dolphin was good question. Dolphin was thirty-seven. So a little bit less than thirty-seven. Let's do thirty. Actually, no. Let's uh, just do thirty-five. Okay. Here we have to stop the thug life, right? So pint dot stop. And if the only time we're going to do this part if we have not stuck thug life, we continue thug life. <laughs> Damn it. Yet pen gotten out, say Yarason Hingum Xanhing Miropa, Miropa Adi, 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 Gangi. Hey, we almost did that. <laughs> you guys want a song? <laughs> Is this a class? <laughs> Yeah, we're just chilling out doing thug life stuff. Okay. Can you, uh, can you specify the vegan thing according to the image original? Yeah, so you, you have access to the original image size. I think it's attached to this object, but I can't. Wait, let me one second. So, um, uh, JavaScript image object. Original size of image cross browser. New image. Essa, you have a dot height on it. So yes, you can. Um, okay, so you guys wanted a song. We can. Uh, I have no idea how to do this though. Hang on, we have to ask. Hang on, follow the steps. Embed tag on the sound file you want. Oh, do, I don't have an embedded sound file. I have to download a sound file. I can download it from YouTube, you're right. Okay, so let's do this. Just so you guys know, I don't know if this is going to work. So just. Um, and then MP3. Maybe we can refer to MP3 source. MP3 player, lamp MP3 encoder, MP3. I'm looking for a file to reference. I'm looking for a file to reference. I know. HTML5. Um, audio example. Audio tech. Maybe we can do this one. Wait. There's a download button? 
Oh, right. Oh, right. Show finder. To copy it. Now I have to. Um, there's my code. Oh, yeah. Okay, week four. Are we in week four right now? We are in week three. Week three. Okay. Okay, horse OGG. So now, Miropa. Motherfucker. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Wait, there should be an autoplay thing so I don't have to hit uh, play. One second. Um, CMO5. Um, audio auto play because I don't want to see the controls or have to touch it. Auto play is true. Ah, and we do just ah, okay, okay. So the, it has an attribute called auto play true. Okay, good. Now we don't want to see this crap, right? So we can hide it. So we can give it an ID, ID of audio. And then we can we can style and gosh. Watch making child sake, Ali was one day come. Oh wait, let's move the glasses up just a tad, just to, uh, one second, so 30, wait, what? Let's see. Canvas, 30, oh, sorry, the glasses need to stop at 25, 24. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Come on, come on. Wait, what? Che. Minus, ah, just a hagarak and there was some 20 some beds. Yes, I was half them because I told you. You can. Okay. So in that case, we don't autoplay true. No, not this song, another song. <laughs> no, really, no, download out it, see. Download another one. No, you download another one. Download another one. Um, can't this now? <laughs> okay, let's do this. Uh, let's get a reference to audio. Um, so, how do I refer to this object, by the way, in my code? Let me put this at the top. Hey guys, how do I access this element in my code? Yeah, it has an ID. Look, so I can do... Nice, there it is, audio element. Now what I can do, let's see if I can force it to play. Miropen, Miropen, Miropen. I spelled it wrong. Ura, 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 ura. Ooh, so now what this means, guys, look, is we can have it go after the thug life ends. <laughs> When, when we stop animation, we want to do this. By Tima on the top on the Luyacha, Miropa. This is cool. Look, 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 look. Nike, Nike, Nike. So in Thug Life and. Oh, no, no. 
Inch on them. Oh, okay, okay, I'll start from scratch. Ready? Okay, go. No deeds? Okay, last time. <laughs> this is like the most absurd class I've had, I think. All right, good. Yay! <laughs> it's like Okay. Ah, so the reason why he keeps playing. Wait, wait, guys, listen, listen, listen. He asked, why do we. So this keeps playing over and over because I keep calling the play function. So just add an if so that the first time you play it, you flip a switch. And the next time it doesn't. Example. Yeah. Okay, good. Any other questions? All right, let's wrap it up.